What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode three of Ian Riccoboni Opens Wrestling Stuff. Earlier today, I got this wonderful package from Pro Wrestling Tees in Chicago, Illinois. And Pro Wrestling Tees not only does great t-shirts, but they also have cool things like prints, uh, and they also offer micro brawlers. And micro brawlers are action figures like you saw in episode one uh, that come in the Pro Wrestling Crate, and they are pretty cool. They're about three and a half inches tall. Uh, they're kind of a, a rubbery uh, latex material, and they're designed really well, and they have great detail. Uh, no articulation, but they're pretty cool to put on your things like desks or shelves or things like that. So this month, or this day, uh, I received a package, and it's the entire set of Series 4 of the Micro Brawlers. Now this set's really cool because, as we'll see, it's a continuation of a series that goes across wrestling organizations. Uh, the Micro Brawler started in 2017, and with that, uh, the first Micro Brawler, I believe, was my commentary partner, Colt Cabana. Colt was offered in the Pro Wrestling Crate, which, if you remember from episode one, looks like this. And you open it up, you get your t-shirts, you get your goodies, you call it your Micro Brawler. From there, Nick and Matt Jackson, uh, the first Marty Scroll was a part of that also, and one of the harder to get ones, uh, Taz, was one of those as well. And uh, if you look on eBay, some of the secondary market prices for those have risen, uh, because anytime something just starts up, it's not as popular as it becomes. And now there's folks that, that order the Pro Wrestling Crate just to get the Micro Brawler. Uh, since then, Ring of Honors uh, issued part of its own set as part of the regular Series 1, which included guys like the Briscoes, Jay Lethal, Bernard the Business Bear, Cheeseburger, Marty Skrull, uh, the Young Bucks, Cody, uh, and, and so many more. And then there was legends like Ricky Steamboat, the British Bulldog. From there, Series 2, uh, Series 2 to Series 3, which included Los Ingobernables de Japón. Uh, series 2 is kind of fun because it includes, uh, if you didn't order the set, there's a couple of guys in that set, like X-Pac and, and Billy Gunn, that, that you can't get any longer if you hadn't already ordered the set. So Series 4, I didn't want to take any chances. Uh, as, as much as I'm a part of wrestling, I like collecting these as well. And I wanted to give you guys the first look at this set of Micro Brawlers. Now, this set's really cool because it's a collection of the different organizations in wrestling. Primarily, primarily, New Japan and Ring of Honor, which is pretty neat. So first, uh, we'll take a look here. The man that walked into Madison Square Garden, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Taji Ishimori. And you see he's got the signature uh, eye black on under there. He was revealed as, as Bone Soldier. Uh, joined the Bullet Club, so it was pretty cool. Uh, one of the guys that I really wanted to call a match for, there, there's not many left. I got to call uh, a Microman match at 86th anniversary, which is pretty neat. I got to call a Great Muda, uh, his appearance at the Honor Rumble, and Taji Ishimori uh, was pretty cool. I got to call uh, the four-way Madison Square Garden match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. And in that match was this man, Bandito. And this is pretty cool too. Uh, Bandito here, you see in his bandit's mask. I first met Bandito at All In. Uh, if you are to believe the rumors, Bandito didn't quite understand the magnitude of All In. He just thought he was being booked for just a nice large event. Uh, and turns out, 11,000 people later, <laughs> Bandito's in the main event. And uh, what a great night that was. But Bandito, who's been in Lifeblood, been a, a main event star in Ring of Honor, it's pretty cool to have him this quick in the Micro Brawler set, also going to be in the Figures Toy Company uh, Ring of Honor set coming up. Another man that's in Lifeblood and he's got an uh, action figure with Figures Toy Company come up is Juice Robinson, and it's pretty cool the detail, he's got his Sgt. Pepper-like outfit, and this captures a really cool moment in time for Juice. I know he likes to change his look up a little bit every now and again, uh, but this is really cool to include Juice in this set. Now. This man right now wrestles a lot for Impact, so you could tell that it's pretty neat that Pro Wrestling Crate, uh, Pro Wrestling Tees, they get all the top stars of wrestling. This is Scott Steiner, and one of my favorite Scott Steiner moments was actually at All In. Uh, we're in the green room, we're at StarCast, and my wife and my son, who's about a year and a half old, almost two years old, uh, are in the green room, and Scott Steiner just starts picking up Zach, tossing him around, having fun with him. Uh, and he's, 
a really great guy. Uh, you know, I was talking to Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett was telling me all about how when they were in TNA together, uh, that Scott used to have all the kids over and the wrestlers and their kids over and have big pool parties and have a lot of fun. So sorry for breaking the, the fourth wall, Scott. Uh, a really great guy. I like Scott a lot. It's cool to have his uh, action figure here, especially since, you know, I have his Galoob action figure that came out in 1991 for WCW, his Hasbro figure that came out in 1994. Um, I have a ton of the big Papa Pump figures from uh, WCW from when I was 11 and 12 years old. So this is pretty cool too. This will go right on the shelf as well. Um, you know, we talked about all the current organizations. We talked about New Japan, Impact, and Ring of Honor. Uh, but pretty neat, the Road Warriors. We got Hawk and Animal. This one's cool for me because Animal was in one of the early sets. And Animal was very difficult to get because not as many folks uh, ended up getting that particular pro wrestling crate as they would later sets. So I have a red hawk. Uh, I don't have a red animal. This is more of their, their 1989 uh, Nintendo Entertainment System video game cover look. So that's pretty cool. Uh, still looking for that red animal. If anybody out there is watching this, uh, I will pay decent money for it. So please let me know. Up next... We have Penta, and uh, Penta's pretty cool. AEW star, AAA star. Uh, missed out on the original Penta. This is Penta number two. The first one came in a pro wrestling crate, so I'm really glad that I ordered this set here. Uh, Penta L Zero MA, as he's known on the packaging, but he has a lot of names, a lot of organizations he's wrestled in. Uh, so pretty cool figure here. You got his uh, more traditional black and silver. I believe his other micro brother is gold and silver. So that's pretty neat there. Uh, we had one that, that popped out in packaging here, and I take them all out, so this, this is fine. Uh, former Ring of Honor World Television Champion, uh, master of the never open weight division in New Japan, Tomohiro Ishii. And uh, Ishii is one of the, the bucket list guys who I was hoping to call a match for that I had I talked earlier about and some of the other names. Ishii was one of those names too. I got to call him in the Honor Rumble, which is pretty cool. So, Ishii, former World Television Champion, Ring of Honor, former Never Openweight Champ in New Japan. And then finally, uh, the last four have a real Ring of Honor tint to them. Up first, we have a trio that dominated the ROH World Six Man Championships division, and a man that recently climbed the top of the mountain held the Ring of Honor World Championship, was very proud of it, defended it all across the world with Matt Taven, TK Orion, Vinny Marcellia, and uh, this is a pretty cool set. I, I like when Micro Brawlers does the three packs, but then a couple of two packs, the Ring of Honor sets with the Briscoes, with the Young Bucks, they come in this, this two pack situation. Uh, first time that I can recall there's been a three pack, so it's been pretty neat. Uh, Matt Taven is a, a figure with the Figures Toy Company. I'm actually going to be talking to Matt in a future episode. Uh, I have his figure ready to go. I'm going to unbox it with him, talk about what led into this. But this is a more recent attire. This is the attire when he came back at Death Before Dishonor 2018. Uh, same with TK and Vinny. Vinny's got the signature axe. Uh, he is got everything wrapped up, his long hair, his dreads. Uh, and TK, he calls himself the best around. He's got the little horse insignia. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool to have these guys. Uh, and TK and Vinny, this is their first action figures. So that's pretty neat for them as well. And then finally, no pasa nada. The new, the current, the reigning and defending Ring of Honor World Champion Roosh. He is in this set as well. And Roosh, he's got his black and white trunks. Uh, you can make him do the Los Angeles fist. He's got some cool bull decals. He has El Toro Blanco. So there you see that and that. And this is pretty neat. As far as I know, this is Rouge's first American action figure. Um, it's tough to keep track with what's available in Mexico. There's many bootlegs. There's many official releases as well. But this I know for sure is Rouge's official uh, first American action figure before his figures toy company uh, action figure comes out as well. So this is a pretty cool set, and it's got a huge Ring of Honor flavor. You see the Kingdom, you see Roosh, you got Lifeblood members, Juice Robinson and Bandito. So all in all, this is pretty cool. Uh, you definitely get a lot of bang for your buck. You get you get a little bit of a cheaper price if you order it by the set, uh, and they only make those sets available at Pro Wrestling Tees 
for a limited time only, right at the beginning. Uh, so I pre-ordered mine, I got mine right away. I gotta pay full price like the rest of them, like the rest of you guys. And uh, you know, Ryan hooked me up with the first couple of sets, but he couldn't fill in those tough ones. So if anybody has animal or tabs, the first animal or tabs, let me know, because those are ones I'm still looking for. We're gonna pick a winner. Last time we, we talked about, we asked folks to tell us who you think will win at the tournament to crown the number one contender at Final Battle. You can comment on this video. I'll be looking at comments on episode two. Your choices, Marty Skrull, Jay Lethal, PCO, Dalton Castle. Uh, three of those four guys, they have micro brawlers, and the first PCO figure ever is coming soon from Figures Toy Company in the next couple of months. So until next time, I'm Ian Riccoboni. This has been Ian Riccoboni Opens Wrestling Stuff. Happy wrestling, everybody. We'll see you next time.